Welcome back to part two. And on this episode, we're gonna start uh, taking the things apart. I'm gonna first start with the suspension. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take off the this busted steering rod, lower control arm, and I'm gonna compare that to the other control arm that I got and see if it actually bent a little bit. Also, what I found out is this is actually considered to be a spring. That's what keeps the arm uh, from going all the way up. That's the spring. Never seen that before, first time. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take all the stuff off and then compare that to the to the new control arm, put the new control arm back on and then get the steering uh, connected so I can turn the wheel and move the van if I need to. Here are the two control arms. Uh, another one, uh, the one that I picked up was also from uh, 2019. And I think it had like 4,000 miles on it. Uh, but here's what we got. Now I was trying to see how I can tell if they're bent and I'll do some more measurements in a little bit. But the best way from this angle, I decided to go ahead and put them one on top of another one. So we got this one pretty straight and then this one pretty straight maybe a tiny bit off but it, I might not be lined up either perfectly or maybe I am I don't know but I'm just kind of seeing from this angle that it all looks pretty good from this angle so that that lines up that lines up so yeah it does look like it's kind of a tiny bit bit off on the right on the right mount here okay so we got that now let's measure another way new one hit one see if you guys can tell hit one new one anything we got two inches to the edge here and then two inches to the edge here on the bottom edge here on this one we got over three inches to the edge here and a tiny bit over two inches here on this side so this guy bent about one inch up but it's hard to tell but you can kind of sort of tell if you compare them uh, together and who knows it might it might be bent uh, some other ways but that's kind of the one way i was able to tell almost right away so now i'm going to go ahead and install it back in and here's the spring that i was talking about it's it's an interesting design i've never seen this before and it looks like i don't know if that's fiberglass or what but it's just it's interesting i don't think it's metal it's like a plastic slash fiberglass type of design Really never seen that before, but it's pretty cool.
All right, so looking everywhere online, on eBay, on Craigslist, on Facebook market, uh, I looked on, you know, pretty much everywhere I could within like 800 miles. And the only thing I could find is this fender. And it has a, a few little scratches here and there. And this little dent and this little corner. Picked this up for, I think it was like 280 from uh, South California. So, I mean, that's the only thing I got right now. I kind of just threw it on there just for, you know, just so it doesn't flop around in the garage. And I put that on on a couple of bolts. And honestly, I don't know what to do. I mean, I've been looking on auctions for a uh, parts van and I found a few of them, but they still go uh, pretty expensive. So There was one van not too far, uh, about three hours away from me that I was playing and it went for like $7,800. But honestly, I don't want to pay more than like six or 7,000 for a parts van. Uh, that one was rolled over, but the front was pretty good. I could have used all the things that I needed. There's also a few other vans coming up, so I'll keep an eye out for them. And my only really two other options is to get one for parts, use what I need, put it back on auction, get whatever I can for it on auction, or buy it, take what I need, and then sell off everything else piece by piece on Craigslist or Facebook market, whatever and maybe make a little bit extra more money because there's always people looking for these parts because they're pretty hard to find, especially the 2019 and newer uh, vans. But if you guys see any uh, in California or Nevada, Oregon, whatever, let me know. I might be, you know, I might be willing to travel if they have a few, a few parts that I need. And I went and uh, taped off the windshield, taped off the door because it was raining for a couple of days. Uh, today's, today is nice and sunny, but I was thinking of taking things apart, but it's going to rain in a couple days again, and then it's going to rain next week. So I decided to just go, go ahead and just leave it intact while I'm still looking for parts, just so I didn't get things wet. But yeah, that's what I got right now. I mean, I don't want to do anything else, honestly, for now until I find all the parts that I need. So meanwhile, this will conclude part two, and I'm going to go ahead and try to find all the parts, and I'll start working on part three. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.